Good evening everyone. If you don't know, you should know my name is Ramiz Khan and I am a filmmaker and a film critic. And this is it, man. Review of episode 6. Episode 7 comes out in a few days. Oh wow, I gulped. Star Wars Return of the Jedi. The circle closes. The saga lives on. Return of the Jedi. This is the sixth film in the series and the third if you only count the original trilogy as I do. So this is the third film in the series and let me go ahead and say this is the weakest film of the original series. And I'm going to start off by saying the ending of this film sucks. Yeah, it's absolutely awful. It's terrible. It's atrocious. It is a piece of poop. It is so bad, and it's because of the insistence of some of George Lucas's ideas. The ending of this film is way too happy. It ends on a happy note. Why? Why end it on a happy note? It didn't require that ending. It seemed forced to end on a happy note after Luke's father dies. It's just not the right ending. How can you be hugging and kissing with everyone right after you made up with your father and your father died? It's just not right. Before this film ends, there's a massive battle, like they're supposed to be. There's a battle on the planet of Endor with tons and tons of Ewoks. No doubt pushed in this film to sell toys. No other reason. They go up against some of the best of the Empire, which just happens to be a bunch of stormtroopers. It's an absolutely underwhelming battle. It does have some cool moments in it, but it does raise a ton of plot holes like Right after R2-D2 got shot, Han Solo just opened the door with, with ease. Why the fuck did you need R2-D2 to begin with? And in the thick of things, it just didn't fit well with the finale as well because it was intercut with a much darker and deeper and stronger scene with Luke and Emperor Palpatine and Darth Vader. It was just all sorts of wrong and shouldn't have happened. They should have picked a different setting or a less time consuming setting for a battle because the more interesting scene, the more interesting stories going on with Luke and Palpatine. It's just bothersome to me that they chose to end the trilogy with a mashup of a battle and Luke's destiny scene. It should have just been Luke's destiny scene with Palpatine and Darth Vader. Let, let, let Han Solo, Princess Leia, and Lando get away happily ever after. End their story. Continue with Luke. As Luke is the sole purpose and the sole focus of this movie. That's how it should have been. Now, whereas the third act of this film is absolutely atrocious, the first act is awesome. Finally see what the series has been building up to from the first two movies. Luke is finally a Jedi. He goes to save Han Solo from Jabba the Hutt and Princess Leia from Jabba the Hutt and we see Luke's skills on full display as he kills Jabba and in turn settles Han Solo's debt with Jabba. We also see Luke go back to Yoda to finish his training so this film does a great job of tying up loose ends. Now the action scenes, whereas they are great, they are way too long. And now I'm going to criticize the first act I just praised. The film does spend way too much time in its first act with Jabba the Hutt. It takes too long to transition into act two and the action scenes are a bit too long when we get to see Luke finally displaying his powers. We could have seen that earlier. Why did it have to go into the desert? We could have seen Luke displaying all his badassness in Jabba the Hutt's whatever brothel that is. Why did people think that the pod race in The Phantom Menace is way too long but not say the same for the speeder chase on the planet Endor? It's equally as long and equally as boring and equally as pointless and it leads to very little. This is a good film, but this film offers little to none when it comes to character building. We don't learn anything new about our characters except for maybe Leia, Darth Vader and the Ewoks. I really wanted to know a lot about those Ewoks, man. Whereas it's not a bad film, it is a fitting conclusion to the original trilogy as what they started, they finished Darth Vader, bad guy, you know, had his redemption, Luke Skywalker finished his character arc. It's a fine ending, it's just tonally wrong, it shouldn't have been a happy ending, it should have been bittersweet almost. And it's really, really hard to top something such as The Empire Strikes Back. The Empire Strikes Back is a perfect film, man. You can't beat perfect. So with that being said, I'm going to give this film a final score of 3 out of 5. Thank you so much for watching people, I really appreciate you guys watching my Star Wars reviews. Even though I'm not that massive of a fan of Star Wars, I am extremely amped up for episode 7 because that trailer is incredible. I am dying to see it and take my parents to watch Star Wars as well, and obviously they're gonna hate it. 
Anyway, people, thank you so much for watching this review. Hit that like button and please hit that subscribe button and spread the word if you like this video. And if you like me talking about movies, tell your friends, hey, I know this fat Indian guy who loves talking about movies and is really good. You should watch him. Spread the word, spread the love. Remember to love yourselves. And thank you very much for watching because I will be seeing you once again very, very, very soon. Thank you so much, people. Goodbye.